Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to work with several tabs in an Excel workbook at the same time. This is very useful if you have several tabs which contains similar information like this. So you see each of the different tabs here contains the budget for one quarter. The trick here is to select multiple of them, uh, of these tabs. And when you do that, you can manipulate all the tabs at the same time. So if I click on the east one and then hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then click on north, you see all of these are now selected. So if I type in Contoso in the G1 cell here, you'll see that that information is indeed written on all the cells. As soon as I click on one of the tabs, however, I lose the selection here, you see now I'm just on the west tab and now I'm just on the south tab. To select all of them again, I need to again hold down the shift key and click on the north one so that all these four are now selected. You can see that the shade is somewhat different, it's a little bit wider there. Now this is very useful when you're doing the same kind of manipulation on each and every one. As I did just with typing in information, but you can also do it with any kind of change. In my case I'm going to use the formulas here and simply do the sums of all these for quarter one, quarter two, quarter three and so on and uh, for each of the types of uh, products that they sell. So I'm just going to select the range that I want summarized and the area where I want the sums to be placed and I'm going to do an auto sum on that and as you see that now sums up the B4 to B8 which is correct and this summarizes the B9 to E9, which is also correct. So uh, all this is correct now, but the benefit of selecting all these four tabs is that I have the same thing done on all of those at the same time. Now an additional benefit of using sums like that is that you can use the three-dimensional calculations like this, is that I can do a copy of this now. I'll copy north and make that um, Contoso for the whole company and in that I'm going to remove all these values here because this is going to be for the entire company and uh, there too and there all right now and I'm actually going to move that one first that makes more sense and then I'm going to do a sum of all these and now I can just do that one, the glass in quarter one, plus glass in the west, and the south, and the north. So as you see in the formula, it's calculating the east B4, west B4, south B4, north B4. And that's the end of it. We have four quarters there. And now I can fill that down. And as you see, it's picking up B5, west B5, south B5, and north B5. And then I can just do the whole range here and fill that out. And that now summarizes the, the whole company, all tabs there. So that's a rather interesting way of working with formulas that crosses over several tabs. Thank you for watching this demonstration.